As you know, I'm earning investor in Xiaomi. I've seen Xiaomi grow dramatically over the last uh, uh, year or two. And you look at how um, uh, the phone, smartphone ecosystem is trying to uh, create more revenue um, for itself and also for its uh, stakeholders. It, it, you know, it's it, f Apple definitely has is is, is trying uh, to improve user experience, but at the same time, you also see them um, working hard to keep their thirty uh, percent tick rate um, on apps being downloaded from a from its uh, app store. And the famous battle between uh, them and Epic uh, goes on, and obviously Facebook has uh, self interest to join the force with with, with Epic uh, to to fight a Apple. Uh, as a result, and you look at how Facebook's really try to monetize um, and 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 get the SMBs to advertise on the more any kind of user behavior change does impact uh, on its bottom line. And so it is what it is, and um, it's almost feel like calling the cattle black um, in the situation. So <laughs> both bo both have the issues that need to improve, but for sure, if um, Apple and Google tighten uh, and make it harder for user to um, to see these ads, it will affect um, Facebook's bottom line, for sure. Right. And by them tightening up their rules, as you say, you bring up a really important point. It puts the focus on some of the antitrust issues that have received a lot more scrutiny this year. So, Steve, um, I wonder, do you think that this is all a distraction, perhaps? Um, Facebook, of course, facing these new regulations over its market power. Do you think it has an argument against Apple, or do you think that it's trying to just shift the focus from what's going on in terms of that antitrust scrutiny? Yeah, I, you know, I don't think this is just a, a PR strategy. Um, I, I think that this is an existential issue for uh, Facebook. If you look at Facebook's uh, monthly active user base, it's been declining uh, 2 million uh, quarter over quarter. Uh, that means their advertising reach is is lessening. Uh, you know, it's our belief in the venture market and the startup market that Facebook as a company, as a platform, is has peaked. And so if you and then if you look at some of their properties, there are really three properties that uh, are really important here to look at Facebook.com and their mobile apps, Instagram, uh, which is the the, the growing uh, uh, product within their portfolio, and then WhatsApp, which has been largely unmonetized after a $17 billion acquisition many years ago. Instagram is 37% of their revenue and their MAUs. If they're not able to have a opt-out uh, uh, friction, frictionless uh, uh, data sharing between those apps on iOS, on Apple devices, uh, that's an existential revenue issue. They're going to have a much harder time uh, personalizing and targeting uh, their users. And, you know, this is a slippery slope for them. Uh, I think this is one existential. And number two, they've always been, uh, you know, the last couple of years, they've been seen as uh, a privacy uh, uh, a transgressor. And and Apple has been seen as a privacy mm -hmm. protector. So, um, you yeah. know, I'm not sure that they can win this PR battle, even, you know, drumming up the small business uh, argument, which is really important right now. Small businesses do need to be helped. But I think this is the wrong way I to... I love that point, uh, Steve. Yeah, I, I, I love that point. And Hans, I want to go back to you with it, because, you know, whether it's the pot calling the kettle black, I want to throw out another cliche here. It's apples and oranges when you're looking at uh, the, the Facebook antitrust issue versus the Apple one. I mean, Facebook needs user data, not only for advertising, but in order to make their commerce strategy work, which they seem to be leaning into. But at the same time, they should be able to make this work with people opting in, right? So, I mean, regardless of, yes, Apple's got a lot of power and they want the businesses on their app store to pay. Side issue, different fight. Doesn't it just make sense for people to know if I'm being followed around the web by the like button? Yeah, I think on this specific point, Apple definitely has the the edge. I mean, if users don't want something, um, they, they shouldn't have to take it as a default. They should be able to opt in if they want something. Uh, having said that, though, uh, you can also argue another another cliche that necessity is the mother of invention. Uh, it will f this will, this move will force, especially if coupled by Google doing something similar, it will force Facebook to spend more time figuring out how to sell services or goods on this platform. Um, by focusing more efforts on Facebook Marketplace. It's historically, Facebook always made money of um, ads revenue. 
But over time, you can see them experimenting with e-commerce, experimenting with services. And now, now increasingly, with more pressure on the ads revenue side, you'll force them to innovate more. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.